Welcome to Mark Reed 757 and hey I'm still at my weight loss blog and blog however you want to say it. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how I've been saving money by not doing as much fast food and uh, let's see before I get to that I wanted to say I made my meal prep I made my meal plan and I already cheated okay not cheated on purpose but I forgot that I left the meal for on Friday for Monday. So I brought my meal into work for today, and, but I believe it worked out for the best because what I had was a really healthy meal. It was like meatballs and tomatoes and peppers and quinoa and all types of different stuff I just threw together. Uh, and it, it was really good and really fill, filling at the same time. And I also brought uh, salmon and cabbage today at work. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely full. I've had enough. And maybe on my meal plan wasn't quite enough. So maybe I should add a little more. I'm not sure. I got, I mean, I'm tweaking it and it's allowed to tweak. I mean, you know, it is a lifestyle change and I want it to be something that's sustainable and obtainable. However, back to the saving money on not spending on uh, fast food. Well, I was looking back from October and then I was going to look back a little further. Well, I just ran across January and I figured, okay, I'm going to just pick January. Now, granted, I only, you know, I only make around $300 a week. And I spent $803.88. Just in January on food. Now, granted, this is also going to the grocery store, but it was also going out to eat and fast food. You know, I, I had uh, I looked on there and it was like Wendy's, Taco Bell, Applebee's. Um, I, I there's this wrap place that I go to. It's called That's a Wrap. I I've ate there, and then um, the Chinese restaurant. I had a bunch over there too. I mean, it was, and Burger King, and it was just ridiculous and I, I added it all up and it was eight hundred and three dollars and eighty eight cents now you don't have to be much of a mathematician but you can figure out why I was having money issues and you know now I have things a lot more under control and it's a lot less stressful too because it's like hey look it's time to pay my bills I have it already there we go good and that's how it should be and I look at all my other friends that you know they're they're not overweight and they do not spend nowhere near as much as I do or did because I want to be more like them now you know I don't want to spend all that much money on food and have that be such a huge vice I mean you know it's just pathetic I feel like I'm you know I don't want to relate myself to somebody that has an addiction in drugs but I'm sure they spend a lot of money on drugs and it's just and just same thing with food is it's just not good for you it's ridiculous uh, anyway I did make my meal plan for this week and like I said I kind of cheated but not on purpose uh, for the most part I did good and I do plan on being active tonight I already I worked out this morning and I'm gonna work out tonight as well and I got the two Monday through Friday set I didn't set the weekend because I looked at everything that I have in my fridge and the freezer and I determined I have to wait till Friday till I go and buy some more stuff. And at that time, I'll, I'll be looking, you know, throughout the week, I'll be looking for what I want to purchase and have. Uh, anyway, for Monday through Friday, I made it pretty easy. Uh, basically, all, I alternated eggs and mushrooms. So that's uh, make like a egg fritter or whatever you want to call it with mushrooms in there. Basically, you scramble the, you know, you mix the eggs up, and you pour, you put the mushrooms in, then you pour the egg in, and you let it uh, solidify. Then you flip it over and let that solidify, and you eat that. And I put some spices in there. Uh, the banana walnut smoothie. I put the bananas, the walnuts, the sometimes a strawberry, or and then the protein powder and instant coffee, and call it good with almond milk. I'm alternating those. Monday through Friday and I'm also having let's see cabbage with salmon I made a big head of cabbage 
and just put three containers. So I got cabbage with salmon. Tomorrow's going to be cabbage with ground turkey. Wednesday's going to be cabbage with uh, sway fish. And then uh, let's see, chicken and broccoli on Thursday. And then Friday, I'm going to allow myself to go ahead and have the Chinese as long as I follow everything else that by the book, at least the way I've written it down. I believe I deserve, or at least get something healthy from the Chinese place, and they got this tofu mixed vegetables, and I, I think that would be fantastic to eat on Friday. Anyway, I'll be back at you tomorrow, and have a great day. Happy Monday.